Welcome, my name is uh, Nick Wendegiesen. And I'm Martine Rutten. And we'll give you some feedback on the feedback we got from you from all over the world about the, the water footprint. And uh, for starters, uh, some of the patterns we saw were the ones you would expect. For example, um, that's me and living in India, my water footprint is 570 cubic meters per year. And the carnivorous male in North Carolina, poor capital of the United States. My water footprint is 2840 cubics per year, the highest so far. Yeah, and that's sort of what you would expect, uh, vegetarian versus non-vegetarian. But we also see a lot of variation within countries, but also within categories. So, for example, we have a vegetarian from California who still has a water footprint of almost 2,000 cubic meters per year. And she thinks it's because uh, she washes too many dishes. Yeah, also uh, income must have something to do with your water footprint, because there's also uh, I'm a girl, I live in Mexico by myself, and my water footprint is 491 cubic meters. That's probably the lowest one we found. Um, she's not really vegetarian, but does not eat much meat, uh, and um, because she prefers to eat uh, vegetables. And we also got a post from our own country, uh, from the Netherlands, with an average footprint of uh, 1,278 cubics per year, which is about the average we would see globally. Yeah, that's sort of what's supposed to be more or less the global average. Um, and uh, so it was interesting for us to see that we did see some uh, patterns that we expect, but there's also a lot of variation still around the world, but even within countries and within categories of lifestyles. We thank you very much for your feedback and we hope you keep sending us this feedback. Uh, and we especially hope that you will give us feedback on reservoirs near, by, near you, because that's uh, the next feedback we will give to you then again. Thank you very much and goodbye. Goodbye.